so basically I've designed a machine that was inspired by a class I took in biological chemistry at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland and basically in this glass part in the middle of this coffee grinder there's a desynthesizer that turns fecal matter into chocolate ice cream. Alright, it's time to acquire the fecal matter. Okay, so I've acquired the specimen that we'll be using for the transformation process and this will be the first demonstration ever on video We're now ready to add this uh, this fecal to the machine. Alright. Okay, so now we'll add this to the machine, stir it up, it'll take maybe 15-20 minutes to get going. Okay, and 20 minutes from now we will have perfectly good chocolate ice cream. So, at this point it's been 20 minutes and the chocolate ice cream should have already desynthesized. So we'll check on that and uh, see how see how it looks. Okay, I'm just gonna unplug this uh, this machine and we'll take it into the bathroom to see how it is. Get into some light, or we'll we'll just turn on the light in here. And there's something in there. The only question is whether it's edible. I've turned out a hundred of these that turn out to be poisonous. So, here it goes. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so great. Oh my god. I can assure you, as soon as this comes out, I'll be turning that into chocolate ice cream. Where are you from? I'm from Huntsville, Texas. Where'd you go to? Where did you go to school? 
I went to school, I went to college at uh, the university, I, of course I graduated from high school in uh, Texas, born and raised here, but I went to college at the University of Aberdeen. Why did you go to school there? Um, was it originally a plan just to uh, get out and go to school for cheap because you can go to school there for cheaper than you can right here in uh, Huntsville, Texas and the people there are, you know, they're uh, more worldly, more interesting and it was just a, it was a cheap opportunity for a really good price, more or less. So Ellen, those are my mules right over there. Had those about the same amount of time as you know mules are sterile and so are those so when was the first time you decided to make this machine i guess it was in aberdeen i had my first um biochem class we were discussing the hydrogenization of the noble gases and I realized that there's a very high I mean a calm uh, consistency with uh, within fecal matter and if you can get those atoms to synthesize to form other noble gases then basically you can form the same thing that is found in dairy products and the cocoa bean which both share a common heritage, both have a very common genetic background and were originally part of the same the same ancestor, believe it or not, even though one's a plant and one comes from an animal. It's the only time in history where that's actually happened. And so once I realized that, I decided, hey, why not try to synthesize this myself? first time that you did synthesize it? It was actually while I was in Aberdeen. I was I was living in the dorms there and I uh, I bought some um, some dechemicalization uh, powder from one of my classmates. I thought it was going to be legitimate so of course I tried it out and it turned out to be complete poison. I was uh, rushed to the hospital and uh, luckily, I uh, I made it out alive, but I um, I knocked off about ten years of my life just because of the bad chemicals that the Scottish sold me. So, what do you plan on doing with this machine? Well, basically, I want to make as much chocolate ice cream as I can because frankly I love it and I'll give it out to my friends, my family, anyone who wants chocolate ice cream and also I plan on writing a book. Will you ever sell the rights to this invention? I think it would be a cold day in hell that I sold the rights to my invention to turn fecal matter into chocolate ice cream. actually matter though even though there's no way to prove it it can make sense and be justified just think long and hard about it but who wants to do that not me because I just fell in love